Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, where have I been? That's the question, and where am I going is an even bigger question, right? So, if you may or may not have seen my community post recently, it tells everything that needs to be told. But I thought I'd come on here very quickly to explain one or two things, just in case you didn't happen to see the community post, because uh, not everybody does, right? So, at the moment, I've been taking a break from doing my Ingham commentary videos due to the insanely boring, insanely boring, um, as you may have noticed during my recent commentary videos, I've been a little bit bored, right, whilst doing them, and I can't say that anything else because I, I have, right? And that's not my fault, that's their fault, putting out shit content, right? <laughs> However, um, it's led me to just, I can't, I can't be bothered, I can't be bothered watching them, it's absolutely mundane, dross, absolutely shit, right? So, um, that's a shame for them really, isn't it? Because if I can't... I've always been able to watch them irrespective, right? I, I've always been able to, you know, I don't have much else going on in my life. I just think, just stick it on, see what they're up to, even if it's shit. I can watch it. But right now, it is absolutely beyond me. Beyond even me to watch it. So, I'm not, or yesterday was the first day in a years probably that i haven't even watched it in any capacity <laughs> I, I have a sad life i know that right <laughs> but yeah it was um it was refreshing i felt to do that and i'm not sure if i'm gonna watch depends what they, they get up to if they um if they do anything especially bad I might stick it on, have a look, but I, I, you know, I'm not really bothered. I don't really care. They, they're going up to the Arctic. I saw on Instagram that they, they've gone to that ice hotel thing again, which they went to last year. I really don't want to see that again. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was shit last year. I don't want to see it again, right? End of story. <laughs> so, yeah, where does that leave me and my channel? Well, my channel is still here. It's still got videos on it. It still um, requires support. And I intend putting out possibly some different type of content. Um, I'm not entirely sure, right, is, is, is the honest answer to that. I've got some ideas, and I'm not too sure what exactly I'm going to do. But for, for the moment, okay, so some of you may remember a little while ago I... I started a petition, it was to ban social media platforms from monetizing or allowing kids to be monetized, right? And I've decided to change that up a little bit and I've started a new petition, right? I know it's petitions after petition. Not everybody likes to sign petitions, I, I get it, right? But this is a better one, I promise, and it is to... Um, it's to ban kids from being on social media, period, right? And I know that sounds extreme, or it might sound extreme to some, but the things that are going on on social media right now, none of it is healthy for kids. None. Literally none. I can't see a positive, you know, for, for them to be on social media. I can't. And by removing all images of them on social media, it can only be a good thing to stop them from being exposed to the bad, right? And as much as some people, I'm talking to you, Chris, seems to think that it's not a problem, it's not a thing, it's not going to affect you, you know, it's going to affect everybody. It's a risk. Why risk it, right? Now, people like Chris and the Inghams, they're not going to do it. They're not going to protect their own kids, right? And other families, other parents, they, they don't, they either don't know about the dangers or they don't want to, they don't want to um, 
think about the dangers or they just don't care about the dangers, right? So I think it's up to the government to just have a blanket ban. That's my what I think now. That's how I feel. So if every single one of you watching this now could go ahead and sign that petition and get it off the ground and get something moving because this is all I've got right now. <laughs> you know, it's taken my mind off, you know, the um the Inghams who may or may not be like freezing to death in the Arctic, you know. But uh, they're not gonna stop, right? They're not going to stop what they're doing. Chris isn't going to stop what he is do, doing. The only way he's going to stop what he's doing is if he is made to stop what he's doing, right? And this is the way that I figured that this is going to happen. So that's... Um, if you could go ahead and sign that, that would be brilliant. And going forward, um, I'm going to put up a series of, like um videos surrounding really the dangers of social media and why specifically you need to protect your kids online and the dangers that they face whilst being online right Cause some people don't know so i'm going to tell them and if you already do know and i'm going to tell you again and you know anyway so yeah that's that's pretty much um that's all I've got to say for now. And in the meantime, I'm going to be trying to put together some uh, quality content. Because I know not everybody wants to just listen to like the 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 mundane, like the, the scariness of the world. I don't want to just focus on everything that's wrong online. I want to produce some content that you know, people are going to actually enjoy watching as well, which I know you did enjoy watching, the, like, the Ingham commentary and things like that, but I'm going to try and put together something good anyway, and um, I'm not going anywhere, because I'll still be here, so don't worry, for those of you who were sending out search parties, um, yeah, just had a day off, that's all, <laughs> I know. Anyway, until next time, please don't unsub because um, yeah, it took me ages to get to 10k and I don't, don't want to lose that. Anyway, thank you all so much for your support. Until next time, have a brilliant weekend. Take care of yourselves and bye-bye.